Today we are going to learn present participle in chair. Yes, we have already understood the basic in our previous session. We have learned basic already in our previous session. Ma, the previous session we have already learned it. That. that what is present participle in chair? Right. They both are having their ing form of the verb. K verb ma, we have ing laga hui thi at the end of the word. Right. So, बनने में present participle in जरूर बनने में words में आपने ing add करवाने चाहिए that we have learned, right? कि both have identical form. Identical form means both is having ing at the end of their word. कि बनने में word में at the end में ing लगे चाहिए that is identical form. And the another word is that difference lies in the functional job. The word pays in the sentence. That is the difference. क्या आवे चे? कि word whether the word is noun or a verb. ये ना sentence पर थी decide करवाने आवे चे. That whether the word is acting as a verb over there or that the word is acting as a noun. कि verb क्या क्यों नहीं थे act करे चे? As a verb ना form आ चे या फिर noun ना form आ चे. But in our previous session we have learned that ing form is also having different different rules ke ing lagava mate bhi apne ghana bada different different rules hoye chhe right we have learned four types of rules so now first let's have a recap of all those four types of rules first
so this ચાલી રહી છે 
earlier, we have said that she is cooking. She एले ये जो गर्ल थी कुक करे थे, but ये हर जी कंटिन्यू करे थे, हर जी नो कुकिंग चालू जी थे, स्टॉप ना थी थे क्यों? तो ये कंटिन्यू थी, हर जी ये वस्तु चाले थे, कंटिन्यूस थे, so जरे अभी इतने कंटिन्यूस फॉर्म में होए, अने इन्हें एक्शन कौन थे? She तो इतना आप लोग नाम थे क्यों? अया कौन कुक करे थे? She तो Right? In a particular word, that word will become our present part. 
participle. ing form of the word that will become our present participle. Now our third rule Adjective. 
will become our present participle. The adjective so chet it describing words, right? You know that adjective means describing words such as amazing, wonderful, beautiful. के आवाज़ में बदल words चे इन्हीं पाँच पर आपने ing लगे such as example. Amazing, then exciting, right? Then after you can say boring. Such kind of words, क्या बोले adjective चार words नहीं पाच चार ing लगे चे कोई भी adjective means describing word नहीं पाच चार चार ing लगे चे at that time. The word will become present participle. For example, if I say the movie was amazing. The movie was be amazing, right? So over here, amazing will become our present participle, right, students? So we have learned all the four rules of present participle. That is, okay, when the verb is in continuous form, okay, जारे भी verb अच्छे continuous form में अच्छे, at that time the word will become present participle. Another that is, after the verb of movement or position, के verb अच्छे कोई भी movement या position देखा रचे, then that word will become our present participle. Then after act as perception, के verb अच्छे ये perception ना form में act करे चे. कि काई भी अपन possibility बता that is something going to happen that is इस sentence में verb plus object plus present participle right कि verb हो then that object is there and after that word is there then that word will become our present participle or and the fourth rule that is when the verb adds an adjective कि adjective ना form में act करे चे right कि describing words की पाचर ing लगे चे then at that time also our word will become present participle. So our present participle are four rules that are that if any word is word as a form of verb and courage, at that time this will the word will become present participle. Now our second that is gerunds. Now how will are we going to identify that whether the word is gerund or present participle? अब अपने present participle को समझे लेकिन तीखा या कई rules में आ गए। Now we are going to learn that क्या रहे word gerund। Now we are going to understand about gerund। Students, you as I already told you in our previous session also कि whenever you are speaking this चरण यहाँ डीचन इस साइलेंट चे तुम्हारे चरण्ड डो यू हैव नॉट सपोज्ड टू प्रेजेंस लाइक दिस वे यू विल द डी इज साइलेंट ओवर हियर सो यू विल स्पीक लाइक चरण चरण राइट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट Right? So for that, let's understand this rule with the help of 
Example. You know that how to find the subject. The question which you want is, the answer is answer not it. When you first do whatever the doer is or doing is, it might be the work of the work. It will be the subject of the work that we have already understood. Right students? So over here, if I say that, So over here the word hate comes, right? So hate, what is your ing 
then that ing word will become our cherub. What it will become? It will become our cherub. Right? कि जहाँ भी कोई भी sentence में our words पची जो ing word आवे चे, then at that time the ing word will become our cherub. Now our third rule. Word is there, 
then also it is stirring and the fourth one that is in compound nouns whenever the word is used in compound nouns then that word will become our this right so i hope that you have understood the difference between present participle and cheren that in present participle ma so che that when the word is act as a verb ke cheren word che verb na form ma ekai che and in cheren the verb acts as a noun e noun na form ma ekai che that time it will become cheren so i hope that you have understood very easily this tough topic at lo hard topic ka na bo easy rite samjhai gyo hase because we have learned so much of rules so many rules of this thing so by understanding these rules i hope that you have cleared your ideas and your doubts so now with this you will be given a worksheet which you have to solve in your book right and still if you have any doubt then you have to see this video again that is you have to rewatch the video